What's up guys? Today we've got a pretty short video of uh, Maladam. All I'm going to do in this video is uh, fix what has become a little bit of a problem. Basically what we have here is this railway which runs in two directions but is only one track crosses the pedestrian road here goes slips right behind these buildings and then crosses the road here so that really becomes a problem because sometimes the little tiny trains uh, get stuck one after the other and then one's trying to come in and one's trying to come out and that's just not so good so what we're going to do today is um, we're going to what, I'm gonna, uh, what I really want to do is build like a little rail yard just, just beyond these apartments just so the intercity trains can turn around uh, without uh, having to wait one after the other and also make it so you know the trains can come in on the right side and leave on the other side whereas right now what you have is this funny situation where they're coming in on the same platform in both directions so today uh, the this little shopping street is unfortunately going to go. I think what I'll do is I'll delete it now, but I will move the shopping uh, buildings over here where there's this little hole, sort of nothing. Um, yeah, so let's get to work.
Well, there we are, guys. Uh, finally finished. That took a lot longer than I thought it would. Finally done with the train depot. Uh, basically, what I did was I... Uh, um, you know, I decided to make it look like one of Because, you know, at the moment in the Netherlands we have these uh, train depots where they're still in, in function, but bits of them are being renewed or removed because there's not as much need for this... Uh, um, this amount of buildings anymore. Uh, so yeah, what you usually have is a big depot. Now, what I re went with here was just a, a medium-sized one because... Uh, there wasn't a great deal of space, and I don't really want this to be the main, main, main uh, office and um, area for where the trains go to re be repaired. I just want it to be like a place really where there's space to turn around. That was like the main reason. I'm gonna add some uh, vegetation in here. That was like the main reason I wanted this here is to allow the intercity trains to turn around. You know, you can have. Uh, the trains come in on the correct side of the platform now, which is great, which is really what I wanted mostly. Um, you do occasionally have people come to catch the train here, which is the problem, which is because of this. What I'm going to do is also get rid of this path, because I don't really want people catching the train here. Um, I'll build a tiny path just to allow people to get to the road. And I will and some more vegetation to stop them wanting to cross. Now, uh, basically, um, this depot, what it's going to be used for is to provide a few more jobs and to turn around, and I just think it looks great. It adds so much character to the area. There's this little funny bit, which is what, what I'm going to do right now is just add some trees in here, some big fluffy ones, if you like. Uh, I've lost my favorite trees. Where are they? Here they are. So basically, uh, I know it's not the most interesting thing, but I think it's great if you add in these realistic, real life things, which most builders, especially the vanilla game, doesn't have anything like this. There's no train maintenance. There's no car. There's no. Well, there is a tech. There is a cargo terminal, but there's no. Um, buildings really associated with that beyond just kicking out trucks um, which means you sort of end up with this not very authentic looking game and what I really wanted to do here was just get around that and uh, have a realistic looking area if nothing else I'm gonna make a little forest here so yeah hope you guys enjoyed that because I kinda did to be honest I really enjoyed that um, I think it's great look at this now you have the trains aha Last thing I'm going to do, speed limits. Because the speed limits here are a bit ridiculous. In reality, what you have is 40 kilometers per hour going in, and they'd usually be doing 20 or less inside the, uh, the rail yard. So there we are, they're all going to be doing 20 now. And as for speed limits up here, this should be 30. Now that there's double tracks, it used to be 20, but now it can be 30. There we are. So now the trains come in. This guy's got some people on it, but he shouldn't, which I'm guessing is people who ran in here before I had the chance to remove the uh, the the entrance. But yeah, now look at this. You have... Oh, I need to correct these boards. I'll do that off camera. But you have the trains coming in, always on the correct side now. So you have the, the right... Uh, um, side of the platform at last and the trains will no longer back up and block the entire area which I think will be great so I'll leave you with some closing shots of the area that was so much fun uh, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did thank you